Hey there, welcome to the 49th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Let's do something a little fun and see how we can detect key presses. We've talked about event handlers and event listeners in the past where we can detect actions on DOM objects such as clicking on a button. But wouldn't it be cool if we could detect exactly what key a person pressed? Wouldn't it be cool to see if they, if they clicked on caps lock by mistake or if they used a cool shortcut on your, on your website that you set up? So the two things we're going to cover today are the which and the key properties of an event uh, that can tell you exactly what key was pressed to trigger that event. So let's take a look. So you would uh, add an event listener or add an event handler on, let's say, key down when a, when a key is pressed down, and you can detect which and key was pressed. So the e.which or event.which, whatever you call your event, returns the key code, such as 16 for shift. And the word key, e.key, returns the actual name of the key, I misspelled that, I want to say name, not name, and it'll say shift. So let's do some practice. So on in the page right here, I set up a a quick little uh, input box and an output span. I already de uh, declared the element IDs uh, into two different variables, text and output. So let's start typing. So we'll do text. Uh, for some reason, I called it button. It should have been text. Let me change it right here. So text dot add <clears throat> event listener. So key down when the key is being pressed. Uh, function e. I'm calling my event the e. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it event if you want. Close my curly braces and parentheses and then we'll do output dot inner html equals to so key code e dot which that's the keyword uh, it's 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 a property so it's not a method so you don't need the open and close parentheses and then just for clarity I'll add a line break here and then we'll do plus so key sorry key name E dot key so that we know what is what's being pressed the name of the key um, so let's do update and run <clears throat> if I put my cursor right here and if I start type the letter 4 it says the key code was 100 this is on my numpad if I, I press backspace the key code was 8 if I press space the key name is nothing but the key code is 32 that's where the code is generally better than uh, using the name so you don't have to worry about lower cases upper cases so we'll do like H is 72 74 75 76 Etc. So I would be 73. These are the, the the ASCII values. So if I do caps lock, it says key code is 20. So you can detect that a caps lock was pressed. So let's actually do a quick little thing. So we'll do if e dot which equals to 20 because uh, the the key code of caps lock is 20. Uh, you can do if e which equals to caps lock, but you need to make sure uh, we're using strings here. This is easier. Which is easier. So we'll do we'll just do a quick alert. We'll do alert. Caps lock is on. Turn it off. There we go. So now update and run. So I'm over here, I'm pressing in different letters. It's detecting it. And if I press on caps lock, there we go. I get a uh, an alert. Caps lock is on. Turn it off. Pretty cool, right? So right now this only works uh, if I have my cursor. If I if I'm typing inside of this, uh, whoops, inside of the text box. Uh, but shortcuts are generally useful when you don't have to click on something. Uh, you don't have to focus on anything in order to let them work. So if, you would, if I just change the text to document, so I'm adding the event listener to the whole document. You can also do window to add it to the whole window. Uh, it's not going to work in JS Fiddle because there are technically four different windows here. So if I now update and run, so if I click in here and I click on you know M, it says 77. If I click out of it, I'm clicked over here. Uh, if I press E, there you go. It can detect it no matter where I type in the document. So that's uh, that's a great way of saying uh, uh, detecting keys that are being pressed on your website. So you can set up a quick uh, <clears throat> shortcut like like you can do like Control uh, I to generate an information pop up or something, right? So because Control is key code seventeen. So I thought showing you the which and the key properties of an event was uh, would be pretty cool. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. 
you can potentially use the key and the wish uh, features to potentially create games and shortcuts on your website. So feel free to play around with that. Also, check out easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. I do plan on covering jQuery soon. Uh, so subscribe to my channel to receive updates for those videos. Uh, again, if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.